everyone, I'm Commander Granger. You might know me as Miss Granger, but in a previous life, I used to be an astronaut. I thought I'd bring you all out to space to share with you this fabulous story called Give Me Some Space by Philip Bunting. So settle in, because this is a very long story. Throughout the story, I might interrupt every now and then to share one of my own stories for when I was in space and I was still an astronaut. Okay. Give Me Some Space by Philip Bunting. Ever since the stars aligned to bring her here, Una has loved space. Her first step was one giant leap. Her first word was gravity. And with each birthday, Una's cakes became ascendingly astronomical. Now, after a few more laps around the sun, Una lives in a world of cosmic curiosity and intergalactic inspiration. So she's got a picture of the moon over here and her fish Neil. So there was a famous astronaut who was nearly as good as me and his name was Neil Armstrong, pretty famous. Um, and then there's her observation book and, some, and an actual meteorite. Like, I've seen heaps of that. I wouldn't really... Now is a good time to interrupt and share with you a video of when I got caught in a meteor shower in space. I lost my helmet. I thought it was going to float away, but thankfully I caught it just in time. Yeah, we'll keep reading, shall we? Una dreams of a life in space. Life on Earth is just so, so, so. So she's now written in her book and she thinks the Earth doesn't have fancy rings like Saturn. The Earth doesn't have a go-getter name like Mars. And the Earth is named after the ground. Dirt soil, mud. The earth can't sit through space like a comet. She's got a picture of the earth and she's just like, meh, or meh. One day, Una will become an astronaut. She will leave the earth behind. But for now, she is an astronaut in waiting. You must be this tall to be an astronaut. Una very much likes the astronaut bit. She is not so keen on the in waiting part. It will take eons to grow this tall. This is another opportunity to just have a quick interruption. So when I was at NASA school, um, I actually met Miss Misson, who also tried out to be an astronaut, but unfortunately her height test didn't quite go as planned. My test went ace though. But here's a good bit. Una has been industriously working on an interplanetary plan with accompanying attire, of course. And today is the big day. Today, Una will finally swap her humdrum, ho-hum life on Earth for an extraordinary extraterrestrial life in space. Once she has packed a picnic and said so long to Neil. Her mission to find life in space. but she'll have to get there first. Attempt one was soda and mints in the bottles, but it was a fail. Attempt two, giant party balloon filled with hydrogen. Nope. Attempt three, a rocket. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> T-minus 10, nine, eight, just another Seven, quick interruption. Six, five, Just included a video three, of one two, of my favourite takeoffs when I was on my way to Mars. Lift off of Which Space Shuttle Atlantis. Mission to build, resupply, and yep, to do research me. on the International Fine. Space that's Station. Space yeah, g'day, it's Commander Granger. Just taking control of this mission from this point in. I've got to say that I think we nailed that lift off. All the gears looking good, everything up here is ace and uh, NASA, I'll send you some selfies once we get service, but for now, um, over and out. Space is even more extraordinary than Una had hoped. There was no so, so, no home, humdrum 
and certainly no ho-hum out here. Una's mind expanded like the universe with each new moment. Space and time seemed to stand still as she travelled further towards the edge of the solar system. With all of this astronauting, Una had worked up quite an appetite. So she found a lovely spot on a ring of frozen rocks and launched into her chair. In the distance, something caught Una's eye. Shining in the light of a nearby star, a tiny blue speck seemed to shimmer as if it were alive. Captivated, Una quickly packed up her picnic and set off towards it. As she moved closer, Una could see that the shimmering blue planet was orbiting on a tremendous loop around its star. What could it be? Had she discovered life in space? A trillion possibilities rushed through Una's mind as she approached the spinning, sparkling sphere. And just like that, it came into sharp focus. The blue planet was the Earth. Suspended in space, her beautiful blue home now shimmered even more brightly than before. Sorry to interrupt in the really good part of the story. I would just like to show you some footage of me also being suspended in space. In that moment, Una made the most marvellous observation. There is life in space. We are life in space. And we are all the crew of the most spectacular spaceship in the universe. Everything we need to explore the cosmos is already on board. There's fresh water, air supply, she says thanks trees, lots of lovely food, fellow travellers and plenty of room to live, love, learn and play. With her mission complete and astronaut ice cream supplies severely depleted, it was time to return home and begin a new mission. We are all travelling through space right now. The Earth is our spaceship and it's the only home we've got. It is our mission to take care of the Earth so that we can explore the universe for light years to come. Oh wow, that's a relief. I actually got it finished without this here. Mrs. Hamilton pranking me. Last year she drew a moustache on my face and told me that it was all washed off and it wasn't. It was so embarrassing. Oh, thank you. Cheers.